downward facing dog. Okay, downward facing dog is a really interesting pose because energy moves in, in many diff different directions in the body. So as an example of energy moving in, a, in opposite directions in the body, you could talk about mountain pose where you, you're stood. So you have gravity down through the soles of the feet. So that's a, that's a downward motion of energy. But then by lifting the thighs and then engaging the banders, that lifting up of the banders, we have this experience of, of energy moving in an upward direction. So that's a, a really basic example of energy moving down through the feet in gravity, but we, we can lift the energy up through the body and up through the crown of the head. So we can all, we always have this base, but we can be lifting up and drawing up out of that. So that's a two way movement of energy. Now down dog has three movements of energy, three directions of movement and three lifts, which really help create the pose. So things you, you little tips that you want to have is you want to have your hands nice and wide when you ever got your hands down onto the floor, get your fingers spread out nice and wide and you can use your fingertips to just help balance. These will just sort of help balance you along. The next one is try and straighten the arms. So you'll find a lot of in your classes that students will bend their arms. <clears throat> and what this does is it, it moves the energy in the, in, a, in, the, in the opposite direction to how we want it to move. So the experience becomes one of struggle. So <clears throat> fingers wide, nice straight arms. So I'll come to it from, from kneeling. If I bring my hands forward, see I spread my fingers out nice and wide. And then I want to turn my toes under at the back. And then as I push my heels down, my legs straighten and I come down. So what I mean by three movements of energy is I want to be pushing into the hands so I'm pushing from here all the way up and out through the tailbone like this I'm really pushing in there from the back of the knee down to the ankle is pushing down towards the floor and then from the back of the knee to the tailbone is tipping up and pushing down so I create this really active pose Head is just relaxed, hanging down. <clears throat> but you'll notice I keep just about an inch underneath my heels because if I can get my feet flat onto the floor like this, then that, that's the end of the stretch. I'm not going to stretch their muscles any more than, than I am doing now. But by sh shifting back a little, I've always got that little extra half an inch to an inch to just extend into so I keep that little gap between the heels push the heels down turn the tailbone up push the chest back towards the thighs and push into the hands head is relaxed so we have the movement of energy from the wrists right up through the back and out through the tail from the knees down pushing down and then the tailbone tipping up tummy is in pelvic floor is lifted head is relaxed nice big deep breath So you'll find if you bend your elbows, the weight suddenly is pushing forward. So what's happened by having the elbows bent is that we're back into that gravity. So it feels all really heavy and pushing down into the floor. So I think as you push down, you want to stack a straight line right through the arm, through the elbow, through the shoulder, and really drive in through that. And that will give you the energy really moving up through the body and help the chest to open but again a lot of it will have to do with this opening up of the shoulders so if you can't get your shoulders up people might be more here and trying to get back and if they've got tight hamstrings then they're going to have the knees bent so if you can encourage them to just gently push into that push into the hands heels down tailbone up Tummy in, deep breaths. And then lift the head, bend the knees, come back down to kneel. 
So remember, if you keep them arms straight and push through the arms, uh, it will get that energy moving up and away towards the tailbone. And as you push the heels down to the floor, tip the tailbone up. So you can get this by, if you think about pushing the back of your knees back towards the back of your mat, just by virtue of doing that, will the, the tailbone will go up and the heels will come down towards the floor. So again, when you're uh, watching people in your class and you see that they've got their elbows bent, you can come along and just try and straighten them up when they're doing that. So there we have it. Downward facing dog. Namaste. Okay. <laughs> Keep smiling. Well, we took all the chances and danced all the dances.